Hello and welcome back to Card City Nights. Since last time I've actually done some play off uh, off camera, just doing some random stuff. I wanted to buy, I bought a couple more health potion cards because I kept saying how much I liked the health potions and they were very convenient. You can like pass a turn with them, you can just revive a card without having to actually make a combo and without having to, to waste another card and without having to waste a spot and you know all that shit. So I bought some uh, some health potions and I went to... Uh, where did I go? To the skate park. I did some matches against EG and I did some matches against the uh, cleanup crew and I didn't really get anything new as far as I know. I did some reorganizing in my decks as well. So I won... Let's see, it was a hero card. I should probably order these by the theme. Uh, I got this one, the Rock Smasher. Placement, remove a random connected own card. Carves out tunnels in the asteroid base from hero core, I think. And uh, yeah, this is a pretty good card if you're doing a defense deck. You just have to make sure to place this first in a combo. Or place one card, then place this one, and then place one between them or something like that. So yeah, this could be pretty good if if we ever make a defense deck. But speaking of making decks, I made two decks. Well, uh, this is our original deck, the uh, Disable deck. I switched this to a sniping thing because, you know, you snipe when you click on cards, so I figured that was more fitting than the sword. And uh, I changed a couple of things. I removed a crystal here and included one of these eliminators because I want attack cards and this had the exact same arrows as the crystal, and it's just an attack card. I just have to make sure to not place it, uh, to place it last in a combo if I want to make it reliable. And beyond that, did I change anything else? I have three health potions so far, and I did a couple of trial games with this deck, and I'm not sure if that's too many. I did remove the, uh, uh, what is he, he called? Hero, Flip Hero, the revive card wherever he is, this guy, but uh, I still have, oh right, I also removed, I didn't remove Tarot, oh, that was probably the other deck, I thought I removed Tarot, but I'll, I'll keep Car Carrot, Tarot, I'll keep Tarot, and I, right, I removed Icon Carver, that's who I removed, because I figured Icon Carver essentially just does what the health potion does, except Icon Carver is more of a panic card, like if you really need to revive two cards at once, then he's pretty good because you can make a combo and then if you do that, you revive two cards. So we'll see. I might switch out one health potion back for Icon Carver if I notice I get too many of these and they're not really useful. So we'll see how that goes. I included the Netherbird, like I said I would. Oh, and this. This was such an obvious inclusion. I'm... I'm sure some people that watch this would think that I was pretty stupid because I had the fish bun here. Compare fish bun, arrow down, one of these. This guy, arrow down, two of these. And you can also use them as a revive card if you make a defense combo, which I won't do, but still, it's just a straight upgrade from the fish bun. So that'll help making some simple combos or fast combos and stuff. And I think that was pretty much it. This thing might be uh, new as well. I just figured this is a pretty good card because it's essentially... I think I replaced one of the turnips for this because it's basically a turnip and you have essentially all four diagonal directions. So I kind of like this card. And then I just experimented and did a damage-based deck. But I did a couple of games and this deck is extremely inconsistent. Sometimes I crush the opponent and sometimes I can't do anything. Because this is just revolved around just mowing down their health and not even caring about them making combos or cards or anything. So, yeah, it doesn't really work all that well. But it's basically just every single card that adds damage or removes cards from the board or their deck. And just a bunch of attack cards, a bunch of, like, stuff like that. So, that's pretty much it. I'm not sure if I'll need it. It's mostly a thing where... If we run into a deck that I can't beat using this Disable deck, then I might switch over to the uh, Damage deck.
So let's go back to the science lab and I guess we'll start doing some of this. Actually, we haven't talked to this guy, so let's do that. And we did click around here. We might have missed a couple of... Uh, did we miss? No, I don't think we missed a couple of lines before we battled this guy. So, uh, I can't remember the voice. I take my work very seriously. Unpaid overtime is in its own award reward, sorry. Some combined cards are better than others. Some might just be worse than normal cards. Okay. This suit, it's the sam standard company hazardous materials suit. The biggest fan makes frequent use of our services. He is always looking for the latest in car technology. Some combined cards do not occur naturally in the wild and are considered entirely new species. Cards are fascinating in that way. We are making advances that no one else has dreamed of. Your pet is making strange noises again, scientist. Crafts. Work harder, not smarter. It may not look it, look it, but work here can be rather dangerous. Some of the experiments bite. Scientist is one of our prime researchers. Even stranger, she never works overtime. It's a she! God damn it! Well, stick to the voice now. The only one who puts in any overtime around here is you, salary man. It's for the good of the company. It doesn't matter if I fall asleep the moment I step out of the building at night. So that's why I always find you outside in the street every morning. I thought you just showed up early for work. The head... Hold on, I need to lower my volume. This music is pretty loud. The head of the science lab is the most knowledgeable about the card game around here. Okay, she looks crazy. Wait, was that... Was that Jenny Deer? Or... Maybe. That might have been her. Little dude uses our services sometimes. He seems to always be trying new strategies. Complimenting... Com completing! Completing every task with enth... Oh, shit. Well, you can read that. Sorry. Excitable student's pet fish bun was once involved in a strange accident here. That might be... That may be why it's smart enough to play the card game. It's smart. Your alchemy service usage information is safe and secure in our database. The database cons consists of a series of PHP documents grouped into folders named after famous fictional cats. Whenever an entry is changed, the system sends an email to Bengt, our Swedish intern's son. Bengt looks up the name of the correct folder and file in his notebook, uploads the updated data to his homepage, and mails a virus to our HR department. Our mail system's virus monitor gets off an on-screen warning on the receptionist's personal computer when it notices the mail from Banks. A script running on the receptionist's <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. On the receptionist's computer notices the alert, connects to Bank's homepage, and finds his latest entry, then mails it to our database. The database decodes the ROT13 encrypted email and updates the correct position with the correct value. As for what happens when two database changes are made at the same time, or we run out of names for famous fictional casts, well, uh, we'll let some other interns solve that when we get there. That is probably the funniest dialogue thing I've read in this game, that is amazing. Our al alchemy service splices the genes of cards in order to create new cards. Most people do not know that the cards even have genes. It was the head of the science lab, this science lab, who figured... Who first figured it out? Sorry, I'm slipping up a lot. I am sorry, but I cannot of offer you any advice on card game strategies. Company secrets. I take my work very seriously on... Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna go back to the one that I missed, so give me one second. Completing every task with enthusiasm, never negotiating for a pay raise, so that's what makes me a true hero of the workplace. Yeah, <laughs> hero. He said hero. Yeah. This is awesome. Alright, so let's talk to the pancake. Plod. Knusla or something. Kippa. Crux. Nipla or something. Knipla. Kaksig, which means cocky. Okay, great. Kalos, which means party. God, okay. Knipa, which means uh, pinch. Seriously, okay, so I guess they just took sort of a dictionary and took all the K words in Swedish and just put them in here. Knoppert, which means scarce, sort of? Oh, I guess you're getting a Swedish lecture here. 
Kniega, I have no idea how you how you translate that to English. Like, uh... No, I really don't know. Krasslig, same there, I don't know how to translate that. Knas means, uh, sort of just goof, basically, or goofball if it's a person or whatever. Krake, it's kind of, uh... What do you call that? Like a tiny pitiful creature, sort of. It's really hard to translate some Swedish Swedish words. Klunga uh, means uh, like a flock, sort of, or uh, a uh, oh man, yeah, it's 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 hard. Sorry, I don't even know what word that is. Klika, I have no idea what that even means in Swedish. Or that Krim. Blood. Okay, I think we're we're done. Yeah, we're done. Many of these I have no idea, even in Swedish. So that's that's cool. Oh, I can't battle this guy. So or this chick, I should say. Weird. Okay, so wait, is that supposed to be like Ioso or something? From I'm not sure. Is that supposed to be someone someone from EG? I really have no idea. Don't mind me. I'm just here collecting data from your battle with failed experiments. Or data, if you want. I don't know why I'm saying data. Usually I would say data. Failed experiment hovers, hoovers up a lot of cards while she's out and, and about. Oh, it's also she. Looks like she managed to build quite a deck with those cards. Don't keep failed experiment waiting. To be honest, it's rather difficult to lose to failed experiment. She, She's barely sentient, after all. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay. I see what she means. Don't mind. Okay, there we go. So let's let's have a battle with a failed experiment and see if she's Knickla, which I also don't know what that means. Best of three: Shylock versus failed experiment. So let's go with a disabled deck. Oh, of course she has the the breakfast board. That makes sense. Um. Hmm. I guess I'll do this. Okay, I'm just gonna do this for now because I'm probably gonna get disabled. I didn't. That's awesome. Alright, so now we can do this. And. Why do I always do this? Why do I always just completely disregard the entire, like, thing? The, the card effect? Man, okay. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get this combo off before he revives something. No. So, whatever, let's just do this again. Also, she, sorry. Um, guess I'll do this. Yeah, this is bad too. Well, yep, he made a combo. Damn it, and I don't have... This is a really annoying center card, to be honest. I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I don't want to waste Fish Bungeon right now, I think, so... Let's see... Can I... Yeah, I can do this, and then I'll have a combo. And I guess I'll use it? Should I? I kind of want him to use this, or her, to use this card. So maybe I should just stall for now. Now let's let's disable this. I'm quite low on health though, so I need to be careful. And oh, I know what I can try to do. I don't know if I'll be able to do this. Oh shit! Kind of need to disable this like right now. I wanted to do the the ice wand and then fish dungeon, but that might be a bit too risky since I already have one dead card and he's making another combo, or she. But then again, apparently she's a bad player, so... No, I, I want to do the Ice Wand thing. Damn it. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, so I really need some health potions, please. Uh, I can do this. Finally got that, or got rid of that, so that's good. And yeah, I guess I'll do health potion. This is the, the downside to the health potion. I can't choose what cards I want to revive. So, 
I just have to hope that this is the one that gets revived, and it wasn't, so that's really unfortunate. But now I have this as a combo at least, so that's good. So, yeah, I'll just do this, I suppose, and disable this. I forgot that. Ow. Okay, that might have been a bad plan. Well, let's revive this, and then we can disable two cards next. Oh! I don't want to disable two cards. I really don't want to disable two cards. So, I guess I'll just make a new combo for now. Yeah, there we go. So... Uh, yeah, I can do this. Oh! Wow, face palm. Okay. Well, that was derpy. Let's not do that again. Okay, I need to be way more mindful about card effects. I keep messing up on that. So, yeah, let's just make another combo for now. Yep, yeah, now I'll just disable that. She's pretty quick on reviving, though. Oh, or not. Never mind. That's good. That's very good. Yeah, we're looking good right now. Hmm. Yeah, and he, she didn't combo anything here, so we're good now. Alright, I'm just gonna do this, I suppose. Yeah, we won. Good, good, good. Alright. Okay, I can make a quick combo with my clock if I need it. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, mom and son. Now nah, let's disable this. It's always hard to position this because you can't just think about your hand, you have to think about the future, like what cards you'll be able to combo with it later on as well. Oh, I guess I'll just disable that. Damn it. Ow. Yeah, again, I need to be careful not to make the same mistake again. Should be good. I think I'm good. We're good. Alright, cool. We got it! High Explosive Booster Pack. That was a derpy fight though, on my part. Oh, I got the Goddess of Explosion! I definitely need to add this to my attack deck, but probably not the disabled one. And the Snack, which is a pretty good card too. You might actually want that. Oh no, I don't. This is kind of an annoying one. Like, it's a very good card, but its placement moved this card to a random position, so you just can't know if you'll be able to combo with it at all. So I'd rather not have that. And then Hippocamper is a decent revive card. It's just very limited, but it's nice that it can't get disabled or anything. Krumalur, which is like a... A doodle, kind of? Like a... twirly thing? I don't know, this is really hard. Hmm, that, that's one interesting strategy you've got there. You might even be good enough to get something useful out of battling the head of the science lab. Not before I verified your ability with a more controlled test, of course. At this point, the test procedure should be obvious to you. Defeat me in a battle and I'll let you see my superior. Alright, cool. So let's see if this guy says anything. Or girl, is this anything new? I don't think so. No, it's just the normal stuff. So, before we end this episode, I'm not gonna fight the scientist. 
Yet, let's just talk to her. Defeat me and I'll let you pass. I would much rather be playing cards than talking, don't take it personally. There's no need to hesitate, simply challenge me to a battle. Better bring out your best deck, this is not going to be easy. Defeat me and I'll let you pass. So let's just take a look at the uh, alchemy lab thing. Would you like to use the alchemy service, good citizen? Of course, take your time. So, to combine two cards, drag them drag them, sorry, into the slots on the right. Then drag the resulting card back to your library. Cards that are currently part of your deck are not listed here. That's pretty cool, so I thought you would just like toss two cards and hope that something happened or something like came of it. So we can like try this, like this. Oh, it does say question mark, so maybe that is what happens. There's one that I'm kind of, I was kind of sure of, but I can't remember what it was now. Why are these grayed out? Are these just like, if I use these? Oh, nothing. I see, so these can't be used at all, so... Um... You can't even sort them by what you can use, that's kind of strange. Wait, I'm confused. Turnip said it could be combined, and yet... Maybe it's that it can be combined, but we don't have the card that combines with it? So like this guy and probably Tommy, I'd say? So if I input stick, is anything... Yeah, fish bun and stick. Yeah, let's do that, sure. It's a heart! Cool. That doesn't really... Oh, that does make sense, yeah! You hit them with a stick and they give you hearts. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, ice wand and fire sword, maybe? No, old man. I only have one old man, though. So wait, if I do this with the fire sword? Uh, yeah, I can do that too, but no, I don't think I'll waste my only card. Maybe I should sort by duplicates, that might make more sense. So I really can't do anything with the turnip? No. And then portal wand, it'll do, it'll do! Yeah, okay, so I can do that. Uh, let's just see, it'll do. Can I... Yeah, I can do Jenny Frog. I can do... Whoa, Princess of... Or Goddess of Explosion with it'll do. That's surprising. Jenny Frog and the Portal Wand. But the Jenny Frog I can probably do... Combine with a Pathetic Frog, but I don't have that, so never mind. Yeah, this is... It's hard to choose what you want to use or not. Oh, actually, I do all... I have a... Uh, that That's true, actually. The, these aren't the ones I have. I have one more in my deck, is what I'm trying to say. I have three it'll do, apparently. So we can do one it'll do with Jenny Frog and one with the Portal Wand. We should be able to, at least. Portal Block. Oh, I guess, can we... Yeah. While card is enabled, owner takes no damage. Start of turn, move this card to a random position. Wow. Wow, that's... That's very good, and it's just a 2 revive card, like normal. That is extremely good. I mean, I guess it's hard to keep it in play, because eventually it'll just move and combo itself with uh, something, so that's a problem. But yeah, it's very good against hyper-aggressive players that just try to burst you down. So if I do it'll do again... Yeah, I can do it'll do again. And Jenny Frog, then. Yeah, let's do that. Sneaky Idle. Attack combo. Remove a target opponent card. Yeah, that's pretty good. No loot is safe, and it's a neutral card. Do not steal. Combine card. Yeah, that's pretty nice, but not for my, uh, my, uh, disabled deck. Probably for my attack deck, because I do want to remove their cards if I can. So, uh, can I do anything else? Let's see. Could I check fish bun? Wait. Oh, I can do fish bun plus fish bun? Sure. Is it fish bungeon? No, it's, it's fish bun pile up. Cannot be removed, placement, and plus one defense to owner. It's an impenetrable wall of buns. Cool. Paradin and lemon, sure. 
I have, I have so many of them, I might as well. And that's Terrace. Okay, cool. So now, if I would do the same thing, also this duplicate thing is annoying because the cards keep reordering themselves. But if I if I do Varadin and Lemon again, I can see the card now, so that's cool. I think I'll combine it with Haja because Haja is an attack card. I I want to think that that means it's an attack card. So let's do that. Placement, disable a target enabled card. Well, that's one less problem. Yeah, this is the card I saw, I think, from Healthy Weapon. Oh, it doesn't say combined card. Right, so combined cards are not always combined cards. Combined cards like this is just from, uh, from like logically combining things, but you can still combine things just to get other normal cards that you can get elsewhere as well. So that's pretty cool. Frilly Hat Elf cannot be removed. The hat grants her flight and superpowers from... Well, it's combined card. Okay. So... That's pretty good. It's pretty decent. Might want that if I can re uh, replace something. Fishbun Rider. This was the one I was thinking of. Attack combo, disable a target, enable card. I definitely want that. That is amazing for my deck. So, we'll include this for sure. Oh, that was Anaban. Well, now we can do... Oh, this. So, either Baradin, Fasten, Haja was the one... Wait, did we do that? No, that was with uh, Tarot, I think. Um, I guess Mildegrad? I'll do that. Nana. Defense combo disabled target enabled the own card. Yeah, that's not a good card. Well, for me, anyways. I didn't really want that. I'm pretty sure I have a second item carver. Yeah, so item carver and tipsy. Puzzle item. Defense combo. This card is not removed from play. So that's essentially like the uh, mom and son. But mom and son can't be targeted as far as I remember. Or could they? I don't know. Another lemon, damn it. Wait. Wow. Orca plus lemon gives you lemon. Well, that's... That's BS. Thanks, Ludosity. Oh! Mark plus snack. That's probably the Mecha Mark, or whatever it was called. Metal Mark. There's a lot of combined cards you can make with uh, all these healthy weapon cards. Like, they all combine with each other, it seems, but uh, I don't have a lot of duplicates of any of them, so I don't really want to. And they seem to be kind of trolly, where you combine them with uh, something and it just gives you a card that you already had, basically. Also, I'm sure you can combine the Hype Snake head with the Hype Snake body, probably, but I don't think I have the body, so can't do that at the moment. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, by the way, if you would ever like to reset your library and return to the starter deck, there's an option for that. There's a player info menu on the map screen, you can find the option there. I think we've heard that already. So, yeah, we're gonna end it off here for today. Thank you very much for watching, and next time we'll fight the scientist and then probably meet the, the head of the science lab, which might, may or may not be uh, Jenny Deer. So, we'll find out then. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!